Hi, I'm Mr. Bruce, owner of Shelton Gallery for 32 years. We've been show dealers, well over 300 antique and art shows. We've had galleries on Worth Avenue, Palm Beach, Via de Mario, Palm Beach, Harding Road, Nashville, Main Street in Highlands, North Carolina. We've always been in art since day one. I started out in the African art business. I really love New Guinea art. We've dealt in that also. We have dealt in walking sticks, jewelry, silver. But right now, it's just an art show. Kind of a two-trick pony nowadays, Hal and France and Tim Lewis. You see a very nice rendition of Jacob's Ladder there by Helen, one of her visions. 60 inches tall by 30 inches wide. Oil on canvas, cotton field over there, 18 by 36, oil on canvas. There you will see the first painting I ever got from Helen. Two by three feet, all on board, 1991. There's one of her visions. The uh, what is that? That's the leopard with lion's head and bear's claws from the book of Daniel. You will see a full page illustration of this particular painting here. There's a very small version of Jacob's Ladder. That's the last vision painting she ever did. Started in 1988, ended in 1998. There's about 30 of them. Children sleeping, visiting grandma, front porch, plowing. That's 1988. That's before I met Helen. That's all on board. Here we have another rendition of a church picnic, river baptismal, covered bridge, some gentlemen fishing. Another river baptismal. I particularly like this drawing here. It's a charcoal drawing of Helen's sister, Ruth. She did that in 1971. I met Helen in November of 1991. There's a Elvis with Wings by Tim Lewis. Let's see if we can get another picture of it here. Yeah, that's a really good piece. We've got a lot of Tim Lewis's for sale. As many of y'all know, we are moving the gallery to Milan, Italy, so we are having a big sale. We will have a select few of Helen's works at a substantial discount in order to help facilitate the move. There's an announcement for the show at the Vanderbilt University Divinity School of Helen's work. I've got a lot of Tim Lewis's work that I mean really discounted. We'll be doing some videos on Tim's work. If you don't know, you can find him in the Smithsonian, the High Museum of Art, Huntington Museum of Art, Owensboro Museum of Art, public and private collections, just as Helen. Helen lived to be 101 years young. She had a two-thirds of a page obituary in the New York Times. You can visit Helen on her wiki page or go to my YouTube channel, Bruce Shelton, and see the award-winning documentary, Helen of France Memories. We had this particular show, Kentucky Women at Speed Art Museum at home for six months. There's Outside Art of the South, a book I produced. I think it has about 36 artists in it. Produced this book with Kathy Moses, Helen of France, Folk Art Memories. Here's some catalogs from the Tennessee State Museum show, the Divinity School at Vanderbilt. Kentucky Spirit Catalog, a group show, which Helen was in. 
I was at a show here in Nashville in October of 1991, and somebody said to me, you should find Helen LaFrance. She's a great artist. They told me where, how to, I could contact her, so I went up to Kentucky, and that started that ball rolling over 32 years ago. So, you can contact us at Shelton Gallery at gmail.com, sheltongallery.com, HelenFranceFoundation.org. Text or call at 615 477 6221. Thanks for watching.